All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the Melon DS emulator on a Nintendo Switch. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to play the Nintendo DS games. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So the first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link, which is going to be for the Melon DS emulator download page. Now you're going to need to download the emulator and extract it. Uh, you're going to need to obtain the firmware slash bin files, which I cannot provide. You must obtain these on your own. Uh, you're going to need to copy the firmware slash BIOS files to the folder switch slash melon DS. Now these three files are going to be the firmware.bin file, the BIOS7.bin, and the BIOS9.bin. As for the games, they need to be in dot nds format so now we're going to go over to the homebrew app store for the melon ds emulator you're going to scroll over to the download section you're going to download it you're going to need to unzip it using 7-zip or winrar so now this is going to be the melon ds emulator folder this is going to come with a switch folder melon ds folder which is going to come with the Melon DS NRO file and also the ROMList.bin folder. Uh, so you're going to need to put the firmware bin file and the BIOS files in this folder, just like that. Now you're going to take the Switch folder and then copy it onto your Nintendo Switch's SD card. So that's basically it on the computer. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch. I'll show you a little bit of the emulator uh, and which settings to change and a little bit of gameplay. All right, guys, now over on the Switch. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the NRO is installed. So you're going to go to the album. You're going to scroll over to see if we have a Melon DS Simulator. So there it is. Now we're gonna hit the home button. Now this emulator needs to run in the full RAM mode. So to do that, you're gonna hit the R button while holding an application or a game, just like that. And now your switch is running in the full RAM mode. Now we're gonna run the emulator. Press A to start it. Now we are going to change a few settings. So go down to the emulation settings, press A. Uh, console mode, uh, make sure you have the DS selected. As for the switch CPU clock, make sure you change it to 1785 megahertz. And then make sure that you have the JIT compiler enabled. Now we're going to hit B to go back. We're going to go to the display settings. Uh, you're going to go down to the screen section. Uh, you're going to choose your layout. So there's going to be four options. So one is natural, vertical, horizontal, or hybrid. Um, I'm going to go with the natural, but this is totally up to you. As for the aspect ratio for the top screen, 16 by 9. And then aspect ratio for the bottom screen, also 16 by 9. But if you guys want to change it to 4 by 3, this is totally up to you. And also make sure that the filtering is uh, linear. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go to Browse. You're going to look for your Games folder, which should be under the DS-ROMs. This is going to populate your games. So I have two games, uh, New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Kart DS. Now I'm going to load the games just to see how they run. So just hit the A button, and your game should load. Now, most games should run with this emulator.
Now, if you want to back out of the game, you're going to hit the L and R buttons at the same time. Uh, now you can do your save states. Uh, you can reset the game, change display settings. So we're going to go to close. We're going to go scroll over and start Mario Kart DS. Now, if you want to pause it, you're going to hit the plus button. And then we're going to exit. We're going to go to close. And then exit the emulator. And that'll take us back to the main menu. So there you go, guys. That's how you install the Melon DS emulator on a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to leave all the links that you're going to need. In the pin comment of this video i hope you guys enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe and on to the next one